Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Bison Video Blog. Number three is a no-brainer on this list, but I'm sure many are looking and watching at home going, how come this guy is so low? South Dakota State wide receiver Jake Winicky, who's been a dynamite player in this conference for the last three years since he was a freshman. Can't believe it was all the way back in 2014. Now he's finally a senior, and all the defensive coordinators in the Missouri Valley are probably taking a deep breath about that. How will he be even better in 2017? That's a great question, especially with NFL scouts now looking at him. Winicky finished second on the team in receptions last year with 78. Let's get that in perspective. He was second on the team with 78, but his 16 touchdowns blew everybody away in the Valley. His ability to make the difficult catch look easy has become routine. This is what I'm talking about from Taron Christian, that one in a catch against the Bison in the win uh, over NDSU last October. He has gone into the last couple of seasons knowing defenses were targeting him, and he still torched most of them. Of course, he had the game-winning score against the Bison last year. I thought he was even more impressive in the season opener against TCU last September. I know TCU's not known for its defense, but Winicky was unstoppable in that game. SDSU does not have an FBS team on the schedule this year, and they get Northern Iowa and the Bison at home this season. NDSU comes in early November. The key for Winicky, I think, this season is how he defends against double teams. That's going to happen. It has over the last couple of years. How does he get even better and get on the NFL radar? He's already there with some scouts. I'm really curious to see how he performs and what is his swan song in 2017 in the Missouri Valley. Who's better than that guy? We've got two more on our list. Winicky, number three.